I'm in Islington Relentless Garage with Kate McGill. Hey. So, one click to fame. Yep. How did that all come about? Uh, I think I was on YouTube um, and then I saw a girl called Culprit Verdi and she was asking for votes for something. So, I looked at the website and saw 100 grand and <laughs> signed up that day. Always want that. Yeah, exactly. So, you did, you started off doing acoustic covers of songs mm -hmm. and then. You wrote your own stuff and your new song, Diamonds and Waste. Yep. And that's kind of changed genre a little bit. How yeah. did that change? And um, well, when I wrote Diamonds and Waste, it was obviously done acoustically first because that's how I write. And then I started doing it on GarageBand. Um, and I, the, the original, original demo of Diamonds and Waste is horrendous. <laughs> Honestly, it sounds nothing like it does now. But, um, and then it was sent to the producer who I work with now for it, and he made it into something amazing, and I couldn't be more happy with it. Oh, good. So the name of it is Diamonds and Waste. Mm -hmm. Do you believe diamonds are a girl's best friend, or waste, or...? I think diamonds are waste, and not a girl's best friend. <laughs> not a girl's best <laughs> no, friend No, I I, it's, it's definitely not about the diamonds in life, nah. Different, that's a fun, different way to get to your heart then, yes. all the guys? Yeah. So your videos on YouTube, mm -hmm. uh, mainly in bathrooms, yep. is it good acoustics or just um, a nice place to play? It's definitely the acoustics for a lot of it because obviously there's a massive echo and it helps because I'm quite deaf so um, I can hear more but also it's because it's right at the back of my house where no one can hear me no matter what time of the day it is so, and I usually get quite creative around 3am so just go in there. Don't sleep at all then. I really don't. <laughs> Not I'm a night owl for sure. So cool text reject. Okay. We've got Adele, Rihanna right. and Katy Perry. You have to call reject and text all of them. Okay. Um, Who would you pick? Oh I don't know. Um, I'd probably call Adele just because I want to marry her one day. She's amazing. She really is. Not only her voice but her laugh. It's just the one. <laughs> um, I would text Katy Perry. You know, why not? And sure. then Rihanna. I'd reject. Oh, I feel bad for rejecting Rihanna, but I think she, Katy she's going to have to go. First. Exactly, she does. You're so And right. they're friends, so you could. Exactly, I could through. use her to get to <laughs> Rihanna. This is a good plan. Huh? It's, it's quite a good plan. Yeah. So, uh, awkward situations. Okay. What was your last one? Amazing. Um, probably early on today. I mean, I have awkward moments literally every day, and I'd say um, the word awkward so much, it's untrue. But um, uh, this German TV were filming me about like that far away from my face, and I'm not even kidding. <laughs> and and then they were filming me walking down the street, and obviously I had to pretend like I didn't know they were there. Um, and they were just running around me, and I was oh, it's just so <laughs> awkward. Crazy. And then people were looking at me like, do you know that cameras around you? And I'm like, yes, I do know, but I had to pretend like I don't know. It was, it was awkward. Sounds awkward. It really was. <laughs> Your last guitar was sold on eBay, mm -hmm. about 300, 400 pounds. Yep. Did you want to keep it and just see it like, oh, good memories of that guitar? Well, I suppose I did have some good memories with it, but because my first, first, first guitar is still in my house, I wouldn't sell that one, but this was like the second mediocre one. And it's taking up room, to be honest. It was quite a big guitar. Would you sell the guitar you're playing now if you got a new one? Or keep that one? Oh, that's a tough question. I don't know. I'm not too sure. I'm not sure. Depends how much money it would go for. <laughs> <laughs> if, it, if it went for a substantial amount, maybe I would. I'd think about it, maybe. Chuck it on eBay, see what happens. Why not? Take it down a few days if it was. <laughs> that's sold to someone else privately. Yeah. Uh, any collaborations coming up or on the list? Um, I don't think there are any coming up, as far as I'm aware, but dream collab would be probably Justin Vernon from Bon Iver. But who, who wouldn't collaborate with him? Or Adele would be amazing. Oh my god, Adele. She'd be. Basically anyone who would have him. <laughs> anyone? <laughs> I'm just a slut when it comes to collaborating. <laughs> no. So you call your supporters McDrills. Yep. Are there any surprises for them tonight? Um, I wouldn't want to give it away. You have got like bubble machines coming out and bouncy definitely, castles on the definitely, floor. Definitely, definitely not. Oh. Maybe, maybe I'll just put. Actually, the floor turns into a trampoline. 
That would be amazing. So then people we'll jump, obviously. It goes really high. That would be amazing. Yeah. It's part of the tour support. I've got a trampoline in each venue. <laughs> that would be so good. Oh my god, I really miss this too. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for letting me interview. No problem. For the second time. Thank you. But thank you. Thank you.